In this video, we're going to make a personalized clay stamp, um, much like this one right here. This, these are my initials, MH. As you can tell, they're backwards in the stamp, but when pressed into clay, it comes out the correct way. The first step when making a clay stamp is to brainstorm. Okay, these are just a few examples of things that I thought about uh, how I would like to do my personal clay stamp. This is much the way I sign my pots with a pen tool, so I decided on this particular design. Once you have your design made and uh, established as far as what you want your initials to look like, then it's time to actually make the stamp without carving into. The example that I showed in uh, class was my RHS stamp. Now the, the shape of this stamp is going to be circular, okay? But you don't have to have a circular stamp. You can have a square stamp, you can have, like I said, a circular stamp. This stamp would be an oval stamp. And you can tell it's a little bit different. This actually has fingers uh, pinched together to make it easier to hold on to. I sometimes like these kind of stamps, but I also like the longer stamps that you can hold on to and have a little bit more control. Um, so it all depends on the shape of the stamp that you want your stamp to be, how you make the initial part of the clay stamp. So, and it doesn't take much clay at all. I'm just using a little piece of clay like this. I'm going to roll it into my trusty ball shape like I usually do. And then, I'm just going to make it a thick coil, almost like a Tootsie Roll type of coil. And it all depends on how large a, a footprint that you want your stamp to have is how wide your stamp will be. But this is a, this is a good uh, size as far as the stamp. It can be a little smaller. I wouldn't go much larger than this because when you actually push it in, if it's much larger, you're going to damage projects that you're actually trying to stamp. You'll make this one just a little bit smaller. Now when you're making your stamp, it's very important that the surface be nice and flat, okay? You don't want it to be convex or concave because when you push it in, if it's convex, um, the middle portion is not going to, or actually concave, the uh, middle portion is not going to be pushed in as much as the outside. So you want it to be flat like this. Now if you want to, like I said, you can just take your fingers and pinch like this, and that just gives it an area to hold on to as you use it as a stamp. But once you have your stamp made like this, you have to hold off for a couple of hours until it's leather hard. If you try to make, if you try to do your design work into the stamp when it's this soft, you're not going to have very good luck. It's going to gum up uh, inside the design and it's going to be very frustrating. So you want it to be a little bit more firm than just plastic clay like this. You want it to be leather hard. Now to transfer this logo that I did with Sharpie, the correct way I don't want it to look like this on the top of my stamp. So what I'm doing is darkening the design with a number two pencil. And you can do this just with 
on the paper with the number two pencil, but I like doing it on top of the Sharpie because the lead will release from the paper a little bit easier this way. So now I have quite a bit of lead from the number two pencil uh, on top of my design. And I'm going to take my pre-made stamp Okay, right now I'm using just a, a little cube, but it is leather hard at this point, and it can withstand quite a bit of pressure. So what I'm going to do is moisten the top with a damp or wet paper towel, and right over the top of the design, I push fairly hard. And it's kind of hard to see, but what it does is just gives me a very light image of my design. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it transfers your image to your, your clay. So now with the number two pencil, instead of a pen tool, I use a number two pencil. Because it makes a much rounder line and when you make the stamp it will create a nice rounded embossed design and I'm lightly going over my logo design or my my uh, personalized stamp design And right now, it's not deep enough. So I'm going to have to continue working on this. Just slowly getting the initials or the stylized design of the initials carved out. If I go too fast, I might fracture the areas in between the logos or in, in between the initials. So I'm going very slowly. I'm going fairly deep because when you make the, when you use it as a uh, uh, personalized stamp, if it's not deep enough, you won't see it. And I'm going to do the rest of this in, in stop motion so uh, you don't have to watch me for 20 minutes cleaning this out. Once you get it to this stage, you've basically made your stamp. It's really tempting to uh, try it out at this point. But right now, it's still leather hard, and if I would push it into clay at this point, the clay would stick, and it would defeat the purpose, and I would have to do the last step all over again, cleaning this out. So at this point, when it's leather hard, you need to just put it off to the side, come back to it the next day, and then try it out. Uh, it will still be soft enough to very carefully fine-tune it, uh, but it will be... Uh, dry enough so when you push it into clay it won't stick inside your design okay now when it's finally bone dry then you can really push hard to see uh, how it turned out now these stamps are meant to be used when they are bisque fired not when they're bone dry you can use them once or twice when they're bone dry just to see how they turn out but you really need to have them fired before you use them time and time again. So that is the way we make our personalized clay stamp to uh, give a, your projects a little personal touch. The second kind of stamp that I'm going to show uh, is a little bit different. The first type of stamp, when you push it into the clay, 
it actually makes an embossed raised design of your initial. So here's the stamp. Here's what it turns out like. It's, it's raised up. The letters are raised up. But if you want the bottom of your piece to have your design or your initials to be pushed in or a reverse emboss, uh, what you're going to do is just make a flat piece of clay like this. And I took the same logo design. I won't go over how to transfer it on uh, uh, the same way. But this time I made sure that it was the correct orientation so I could read it as M H. Okay? And it is carved in fairly thick into this clay. Now I've let this clay harden so it's bone dry right now. And this is going to be my mold to make my clay stamp. So when it's bone dry like this, I can push clay into it and uh, the clay won't stick and it will allow me to make a clay stamp out of this carved out area. So I'm going to take the clay, just a piece of clay, and I'm going to push fairly hard to make sure that it goes inside the design. So here's the carved design and here's my stamp that I just made. Now I will probably roll the edges a little bit so when I push it in it doesn't get this rounded edge it just sees the initials okay but this is done. Now I did one yesterday so it's already bone dry I wanted to show you what it looks like if I would push it into clay like a project that you might have. So I'm just going to flatten this clay out a little bit. It really is nothing. It's just a little piece of clay to show you what the design will look like. So here's the pushed in stamp that I made yesterday out of this piece of clay. I can do this over and over and over again once it's fired. That will be my permanent stamp with those that uh, stylized MH for my initials. And that's the second way. This is a reverse embossed. And then if you want the embossed, your stamp's going to look like this. All right. Here we have both the stamp that makes the embossed design on your pot and here we have the stamp that makes the uh, reverse embossed. One will look like it's sticking out of the clay, one will look like it's coming going into the clay. I'm sorry I couldn't think about what I wanted to say. Here we go. Now as you can tell this stamp is not quite bone dry yet but I wanted to show you what it looked like after uh, I produced it so you can see what it looks like when it's stamped into clay. It should be dry enough that it will not stick to the stamp. So I'm pushing in fairly firm. So here's the stamp. And this is what it looks like when it's stamped into wet clay. So if you produce your own personal stamp, you can do that on the bottom of your projects and have your own personalized embossed stamp. So the stamp looks like that. Now this is just the opposite. The stamp is three-dimensional or embossed, but when I push it into clay, It creates the opposite. The, the, the uh, initials or the personalized stamp is actually pushed into the clay, so uh, almost a reverse embossed. So those are the two examples.